The global address list is only available through the Microsoft Exchange server. So if you're not connected to one, and how do you know if you're connected to one? Well, look down below on the status bar, and if it doesn't say connected, then you don't have this feature. Now, the global address list, when you're connected to an Exchange server, is maintained by the company or organization, and it contains a list of all the users' names or the company or the employees and their email addresses. So, for example, before I go and show you a Microsoft Outlook data profile that's connected to an Exchange server, this is what it looks like when it's not. So when you come up here and click on the new email message and you want to be able to address it to somebody in the organization and you click on the to button, you come over here to the address book. When you click on the drop down arrow, if you're connected to an exchange server, you'd have it listed here, the global address list. You'd select it and it would automatically pull in everybody's name and email address and their title that belongs to that corporation. So that way, if you want to be able to look up the VP and send him an email address, you can just go ahead and check out the global address list. So let's go ahead and click cancel. So it's not available here in this Outlook data profile. Close out and then close out of Outlook altogether. And I'm going to reopen it back up. Double click. And instead of choosing the Outlook profile that's not connected to an Exchange server, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and select the one that says Exchange that's connected to it. So I can show you what it looks like when you actually are connected to an Exchange. And your company, of course, has it set up where all the employees, their names and email addresses are in that global address list. So let me go ahead and click OK. And you can see down below on the status bar, the update and trying to connect. Well, that means that it's trying to connect to the Microsoft Exchange server. All the folders are up to date. They synced up. So anything that you have different on your end here gets updated on the server. And anything that's different on the server, like any new messages that are sitting there, will come into your inbox and obviously update with your latest email messages. So now that we know that we're connected, when I come up here and click on the new email command, and let me move off and click on the to button. When I come over to the address book and click on the drop down arrow, hey, there it is, the global address list. So when I select that and I need to email somebody in the company who I don't know their email address or their title for that matter, you can just peek over here and go, oh, well, it's not here because I don't have it set up and say, Carrie is the VP of operations. Oh, all right. And you can also filter, like if I type in KI for Kurt, it goes through and it finds the only name here that begins with KI and it has it highlighted. And so once you have it highlighted, you can go ahead and click on two or let's click and drag and hit the delete key or C for carbon copy, B for blind carbon copy and then click OK. I'm going to click cancel and it adds their email or email addresses to the corresponding fields that you chose to put them in and then just hit send. Well, after you put in a subject and the body of the message here, you can do it that way or let me close out. If you just want to see what they're about and do a simple lookup, which you could have done that way, but this other way you don't have to open up a new email message. That is, if you're on the Home tab, you can come over here and go to the Find group and click on Address Book. Click on it and then click on the drop down arrow and go to the global address list. Now what's cool from here is that once it pulls it up, you can double click on that person and it opens up their information or the information that's maintained by the organization. So you got your general name and you're looking at this going, ooh, what dirt can I find out on Carrie? organization, if they've got it set up, the phone and notes, they're a member of uh, certain groups that you can send emails to, and then their personal email address here. Let's go back to the general tab, and you can add this information here, the basic, to your contacts, which is stored on your computer and not on the server. So that way, if you're not connected to the server or the server's out, you can still look them up again in your contacts folder on your computer. So to add Carrie to my contacts folder, click on Add opens it up and allows me before I click on save and close to type in any additional information like um, the web page if she has a personal web page address her business phone if it wasn't available um, the business address any notes and then when I click on save and close it's now been saved to my contacts folder which let me click cancel and close out is down below in the navigation pane or the folder pane as it's called as well the two dudes and we'll cover contacts in a later training video in greater detail, but this is just to give you a heads up. Click on the two dudes, and you're in your contacts folder. Now, by default, it may not be in the business card view. It may be in the people view. Look like that. Yeah. 
So when you double click to open up carry, we don't get that same window that has the notes that we can type in the notes when we first opened up to be able to save this contact to our contacts folder. So if you want to get out of that, click cancel and close out and then change it up here on the home tab in the current view group and select business card. And then when you double click, you get that same window that we just saw when we said go ahead and add this to our contacts and before we click save. So that way you can come in here, type in some notes, update some of the fields, click save and close, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.